Alright guys, so here is a look at almost all the minifigures from the classic Spider-Man sets. So these, all these minifigures here came in 4 of these classic sets. I don't have all of them but this is basically all the Spider-Mans that you're gonna get. So there's, if I'm not wrong, there's only 3 types of vintage Spider-Mans. So first is, the very first one that came out was this one. So this is the iconic and probably the most rare and most expensive version of the classic Spider-Man. So it's extremely hard to find him in perfect printing for his torso because mostly the due to age, the torso printing, the black printing will have been faded off. But in this case, this one is pristine condition. So the only unique or unique thing about this figure is his torso. The head is, is pretty much, you can find it in every, almost every race car driver, if I'm not wrong. And the uh, blue legs are, you can find it everywhere. So yeah, although it's, it's, it's a pretty plain version of Spider-Man, it's still very highly sought after. And next is the Spider-Man with the dark blue arms. So again, if you can find all these figures in great condition with no fading to the spider webs, especially in the head, then you're you're definitely in luck. So I think mine has some some damage to the head. So this one is fine, but I think the other one has some damage to the head. So yeah, these two are the same. And here we have the lighter blue version of the classic Spider-Man. Also all in great condition. So these two are the same. And here we have the green goblin. So I only had there are two versions of the goblin that came out. Uh, both are exactly the same except for the helmet. So this one, which is more expensive, has the gold colouring to the eyes and the teeth. So if you can find a a one that's perfectly coloured the gold like this you're, you're in luck also because it's extremely hard to find because usually the gold has faded off so the other version just has no gold on the eyes and teeth so yeah this is probably my favorite figure of the whole classic spider-man series so yeah other than all these very valuable ones you can expect to pay over a hundred maybe even two hundred dollars for this particular figure here there are some more unique characters such as the jjj i have two versions of him here i am not sure if there are more versions but i have this version if i'm not wrong he came in the ambulance set uh i may be wrong probably i am and this one he came in the train set so very detailed printing, especially for the different colored eyebrows and moustache. And the next unique figure you have is MJ, which came from the final showdown. I'm not sure if she appeared in any more of these classic sets. And the rest of the figures are just random figures. Not, I don't think there are any named characters. And then we have the two Doctor Octopus. So this one here is the least valuable version. He came in a set with the hospital van, if I'm not wrong. So yeah, it's the least valuable version. Probably you can find around 20 or 30 dollars. But for this one, he's a little bit more valuable. Take that out. There are, I think there are two versions of him also. This is the first one and the second one I think the only difference is his face printing and you can this one is from also the train set so very detailed printing here especially with the torso with the metal ring around his uh, stomach overall very good printing so despite this all these figures appearing more than 20 years ago the printing for almost all these figures are very detailed especially for the green goblin the torso is extremely detailed with leg printing which is not very common back in the days. So yeah, if you can get your hands on these extremely rare and collectible figures, 
especially this one, this Spider-Man here, definitely try and get your hands on them because I, I imagine the value will only keep going up and up. So yeah, if you like these kind of videos, give me a thumbs up. It's too big on the screen, okay? And remember to subscribe.